else happening and everything else going on and who launched the war in Ukraine months ago, George Soros, the State Department of all brag, they did it, $5 billion overthrowing the government, the elected government, <clears throat> putting in new people, trying to start a war with Russia. The globalists are on the offensive. They're the ones turning Al-Qaeda and ISIS loose. They're the ones overthrowing Libya and all these other countries and invading Iraq. They're the ones handing out the heat-seeking missiles. They're the ones coming after our guns with executive orders. They're the ones training for gun confiscation and buying thousands of armored vehicles and no hesitation sites, uh, you know, targets of little kids and women. They're the ones with Obama announcing Monday, they're preparing the EAS alert takeover system to take over the whole media and the internet kill switch is now operable that was announced on monday and i said folks they don't announce it unless they're thinking about using it and i got chills on monday i used to get chills maybe once a year talking about something i'm getting them every minute now i mean my, again my instincts and my intellectual understanding is is just burning with we're all in danger, my children are in danger, your children are in danger, the culture is in danger, society is in danger, the globalists have the hardened bunkers, they have the COG, continuity of government, they believe a world government will bring them into total power. They want a crisis to end the status quo of due process and freedom. Paul Watson's coming up for the balance of the hour after the break, but here's what I said yesterday, and, and Zero Hedge is reporting on it today, this morning, and then CBS News and the San Francisco Chronicle and others came out in just the last hour and acted like rational human beings. And of course, maybe they'll have the New York Times call them conspiracy theorists. Because they ask real questions, they'll call it a theory. No, there's no theory that this is a war zone. There's no theory that it's a provocation. And we're sad that 302 people or whatever, it was 298, now it's 300 and something are dead. But do you want that to be the pretext of a war that could kill millions or billions? The Russians have no motive to want to shoot down a third party 777 jumbo jet. The globalists stand to gain. So I look at this, and then I see this headline, Zero Hedge, Infowars.com. We can put the graphic up on screen for TV viewers. It's up on Infowars.com. Was flight MH17 diverted over restricted airspace? I love how they call Zero Hedge that are run by insider billionaire folks who will not go named in, in uh, Wall Street who don't like the New World Order and who don't like nuclear war. They said that early this morning at about 4 a.m. when I woke up. That article was out on Infowars.com because Watson, six hours ahead in England, had already posted it. They said it. Then hours later, Captain Schellenberger, big question, CBS News, is why plane was flying over war zone and why the European FAA, FAA is over there as well, and why the EU air traffic system didn't announce months ago a warning and a no-fly through that Crimea corridor. Now, we're being attacked and Zero Hedge is being attacked. I've got articles right here already today saying that we claim they flew it over a war zone. No, we didn't claim jack squat. And the controlled corporate press, the state-run media, doesn't control reality anymore like Karl Rove bragged you did back in 2005 in the New York Times. Okay, that is a war zone. The plane flew over an area where... They have been restricting flights in Ukraine and not letting them fly over it. They were supposed to fly 60 miles to the south. And instead, they flew right over the war zone. They were directed by Ukrainian air traffic control to fly over that. And again, I don't have a dog in this fight. I care about the Catholic Ukrainians in the West and who've got real beefs with Russia. I care about the Russian Slavic Ukrainians in the East who've got real beefs with what the Western Ukrainians did with the Nazis. It's tribal warfare crud. And I don't want it to cause World War III for a bunch of globalists. So that's the bottom line.
It's a war zone. It's a casualty of war. Collateral damage. American gardeners and fellow patriots make the right choice with your money, time, and your family food supply. Choose 100% pure heirloom seeds in the Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. Why spend more? The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com is only $37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure, hardy, easy-to-grow heirloom seeds. Yes, only $37.95. That's 70% less than our competitors. You could buy three Survival Seed Vaults for less than one of theirs. The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com includes detailed planting and seed saving instructions and ship same day plus all orders over $49 ship free mypatriotsupply.com is american owned by patriots like you passionate about freedom and preparedness call now 866-229-0927 that's 866-229-0927 or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at mypatriotsupply.com choose the original choose the survival seed vault at mypatriotsupply.com Alex Jones here for InfoWars.com. In the month of July, we have got giant specials on everything at MadeIn1776.com. The already discounted Made in 1776 t-shirts are only 1776. We have the new belt buckles that in only two weeks of sale are very close to selling out. There's only 500 of each. We're talking about Made in America belt buckles in nickeled brass. This is more than a summer blowout special. This is a new declaration of of independence, but to expand the info war, we're offering the equivalent of more than five months free right now when you get a membership at prisonplanet.tv for a limited time, only $39.95 a year. That's more than five months free off the regular price. Not just this July 4th weekend, but the entire month of July at madein1776.com. Molon Lambe, you can take my gun from my cold, dead hands. Question, could too many GMO foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems? Answer, yes. If you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day, use Pro-EM-1 from Terraganics. Pro-EM-1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body. A healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins, support weight loss, improve absorption of food nutrients, and aid in controlling yeast and other infections. Pro-EM-1 is made with only non-GMO and certified organic ingredients, has no preservatives, and is dairy, soy, wheat, and gluten-free. Pro-EM-1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM-1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terraganix.com. Spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Or call toll-free 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro-EM-1 from Terraganix. Life's getting better. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. over some of the articles where it was admitted a month ago that no one was supposed to fly over that airspace because it was a registered war zone in Europe. So actually, Europe had said do not fly over that area. No one had been flying over that area. There were scores of flights just that day that were routed around that. Only that flight was sent into the war zone. Now, continuing, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, with the information that we're breaking down, 
no one stands to gain from this but the globalist. It is entirely possible that uh, Russian-backed rebels who have been given the SAM-type missiles that can shoot down uh, high-flying aircraft mistaken it and did shoot it down. That could be true. The issue here is that they, within minutes of the plane being shot down, it was already being announced by members of the State Department and, and their alumni like Strobe Talbot and Hillary Clinton and others that Russia was clearly behind it and that the rebels had done it. And look, here's a tweet they deleted. These are famous liars. So I don't by default just believe whatever they say. Here is Boston.com, the Boston Globe, the weirdest conspiracy theories surrounding the Malaysian Airlines flight MH17. And they mix legitimate questioning of is it a false flag? Did the Russians do it? Uh, is it connected to the other missing Malaysian flight? Is it connected to the AIDS scientist? That's what you do. That's what police do in an investigation. When they come to a murder scene, they start looking and speculating and wargaming info. That's normal investigation. That's normal thought process. And they say, no, that's unkosher. That's insane. You're nuts. Uh, Alex Jones, look what people say on his website. And they show people in the comment section saying things and imply I said it. So again, that's the attempt to control reality. Look at DrudgeReport.com. It has an image right now of Vladimir Putin on it. And it says, who shot it down? That's a normal question to ask. And that's what you should be asking. Well, only the Boston Globe, only the New York Times can ask who shot it down. And it is a link to the New York Times. See, Drudge is so smart, he knows at first, dare not even question who shot it down. Because only, again, mainstream media is proper and kosher and uh, acceptable or bona fide uh, to... And I'm being a little bit tongue-in-cheek here, but, but the point is, the New York Times is allowed to say who shot it down. But we said yesterday, who shot it down? Let's look at different angles of it. That's not allowed, according to the Daily Mail, and according to the Boston Globe, and according to a bunch of other publications, Time Magazine, you name it. There are people all over radio right now today, I'm getting the emails and the clips are being sent to us, saying that I said the U.S. government did this, or I said NATO did this, when all I said is NATO stands to gain from this. And they're known liars who staged false flags and who staged chemical attacks this year and last year with Saudi Arabia against Syria to then blame Assad. They even attacked Assad's own people, but still tried to blame it on Assad. And I'm not lionizing Assad. Assad didn't do it. And it came out even in the BBC and the Turkish papers had to admit that it was staged. So if they will stage chemical attacks, killing hundreds, would they do this? Or do stuff like put a transponder coding in on the Malaysian aircraft, designate it in that airspace as a Ukrainian military aircraft or undesignate it as a civilian aircraft. So the Russians would then say, okay, they've been using bombers to bomb people, killing thousands in the last few weeks. That's the Ukrainian government's own statement. The Russians said they'd strike back, so maybe they coded it the Ukrainians or NATO, who control the air traffic control in that area, maybe they coded it as a Ukrainian or NATO bomber, and the Russians shot it down. That's classic false flag, folks. You go commit at atrocity, blame somebody else, or you mark your ship like another country and then have it attacked to then bring another country into the war. This is what governments do. This is how they operate. This is what they've done for thousands of years. And I'm simply saying, if we have known governments that do this more than anybody I've ever heard of, should we look at it as a false flag? Paul Watson's coming up. David Knight in studio to give us his breakdown straight ahead. But this is a big deal. This only hurts the Russians and only hurts Putin. And I'm not signing with the Russians or siding, you know, uh, siding with them. I'm simply trying to stop World War III. I simply want stability, not a new war. We're that brings on the march. world government. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network.